Further to our success, due to the recommendation of William Ola Pollock and Lucas Van Gatten Jr. in the publication and distribution of Louis Burke's Systematic Theology to the Prisons of Christ Organization of the Philippines, I have a further publication for you. It is Dr. John Gill's Body of Doctrinal Divinity. A hard copy may be made available, otherwise you may access it via a PDF or HTML link as listed below. Like William Pollock and Lucas Dangarton, both former convicted criminals, when they became Christians they studied hard as workmen, being not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, to show themselves approved unto God, and they sought to teach the gospel unto many prisoners in New Bilby Prison and other jails in the Philippines. I too, when I became a Christian, and after serving time in prison in England, I studied the Bible and learned from Dr. John Gill in his body of doctrinal divinity, the Doctrine of Grace. This was in 1972, over 50 years ago, wherein I learned the doctrines of grace and of the sovereignty of God. It was in October 2001 I met William and Lucas Dangatton in New Bilibri Prison. So, like William and Lucas recommending Louis Burkhoff in his systematic theology, I too encourage our students to some further reading and present to you 1. A Body of Doctrinal Divinity in Seven Books by Dr John Gill Book 1 of God, His Word, Names, Nature, Perfections and Persons Book 2 of the Acts and Works of God Book 3 of the External Works of God Book 4 of the Acts of the Grace of God Towards and Upon His Elect in Time Book 5 of the Grace of Christ in His State of Humiliation and Exaltation and in the Offices Exercised by Him Book 6 of the Blessings of Grace and the Doctrines of It and Book 7 The Final State of Man originally prepared for pastors and students of Christ-centred churches in the Philippines. The importance of systematic theology is to rightly understand the soteriology of the Bible, soteriology being the way of salvation, which is by grace alone and not the free will of man. When rightly understood, the subject of last things may be studied. There are many views expressed about the last things, and now, at the age of 74 years old, I am able to survey the many views put forward by the many, and I believe, once the reformed view of salvation is grasped, one can progress and consider a fulfilled view of prophecy. It is my desire to introduce you to the scriptural teaching concerning end times and last things, an understanding that is not futuristic, but rather a fulfilled view.